been a while since I've done a dome update. I gotta show you what we've been up to as I dodge the rain. We have had so much rain this year, but I mean, honestly, not too much. Just it was so evenly spaced out that it was just perfect if you count the rain and the days we'd normally be dry. But I really would rather do without so much rain, especially this time of year, because I'm trying to get my uh, tropicals and all my goodies that get wintered over into the dome. And it's hard to get back here. I'm gonna show you um, even after we tiled, which um, you'll have to check out another video I have. And uh, I did blog about it. Um, I actually got a reminder today on my, um, I think it was my Amazon Prime photos that we were just finishing up. Oh, here comes more. <laughs> we were just finishing up the tiling job my husband and I did back here uh, in 2019 on this date. And I'm so glad we did. We would not have been able to do that this year because of all the rain we've had. But crazy enough, two days without rain, I was able to drive back here yesterday believe it or not and drop off a bunch of my containers that are going to be tucked in the dome there um but now we've just had too much rain and i'll show you what that looks like so here it is definitely want to wear my at least my ankle mud boots back here the sycamore leaves are starting to fall they're just so cool and the spots that are kind of dark are where the trenches and it literally will be the driest uh, probably tomorrow late tomorrow if the rain stops later today we were only supposed to get a half an inch in the last two days so um, it dries up really quick with the tiling but there's no the grass is kind of rough there because we had the army worm attack this year and uh, thank goodness we had the rain because the grass is popping back up it's just so wet you can't really tell so i want to show you what's going on back here at the dome when i got going on uh, we were able to get every single one of the strips replaced it's been really fun me and my husband working together on this because we'll be working along on the inside now and he'll go oh i have this other idea what we could do out there so this is just a temporary fix um i'll show more more information about what these how these were cut and what these are. This is basically that synthetic wood, like Trex makes it. Menards and Home Depot actually have their own brand of this. And this stuff can actually be submerged underwater and survive many, many years, if not forever. It's cool stuff. So we put some stainless steel. Uh, I think these are drywall screw screws, I think, or just, they're stainless steel though. So we went ahead, we got this all done. So the, solar wrap is not going anywhere this year at least <laughs> it's on there nice and tight ready for the winter which is awesome um these are some of my plants i winter over i brought back um usually i will take and cut the elephant ears back but i'm gonna clean it up down there and enjoy the green uh last year i had uh, another variety of an elephant ear in fact it's right over here and it stayed green all winter long it was just kind of nice to have that like tropical feel in the dome. Um, these are my citrus. I went ahead and kept these out. This was in the dome all summer. This is my orange tree. He just needed a little rain. The natural rain is awesome for it. It perked right back up. And yeah, here's another one. I think this is my lemon. This is my Atlas rose, which was in the dome. I brought it out just cause it's cooler weather and it loves getting some rain before I go and tuck it in. The dome for the winter elephant ear it's right here it's like an upright variety it's really tall and bigger leaves as you can tell this has been blooming like this for two years now basically so anyways these guys are just gonna spend the night out here and hopefully by sunday i will have these tucked in maybe sunday we'll see i just keep checking the evening or the nighttime lows look at this baby i got some little little citrus ready to go i think this is one of my limes yes this one spent the summer up on the porch which is kind of neat oh yeah it's got 
Mr. Shum in here too. So that's going to be really nice in the dome. This will last quite a while, probably through, I've had it last through Christmas at this size uh, in October. So this goes in. Oh, I'm going to throw some begonias in just because I like the color and a few other eyeballs. This is such a mess. Just ignore it. Okay, so here we go. We'll go on in. And it looks really empty, empty in here because I've been moving things around. My upright containers are a mess, but that's because they're all going to be reworked. Things are being moved around. As you can tell, I got it set up a little different than I had. Um, step back without falling in my pond. Plenty of room, plenty of room. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what I did was I put one of my giant barrels in between the two upright containers because I'm gonna actually dabble in some hydroponics hopefully this winter out here in the dome. I have some LED lights that are on these units uh, but first all of this will have to be cleaned out which I'm not sure if I'll get to that until after Thanksgiving. We'll see. I've got so much I need to get moved and inside the house and so on. Um, I brought my beautiful Mandevilla. Mandevilla does great out here. In fact I have my two pink climbers that what I should have done is what I did with these white ones is put them on a nice tall trellis because look how pretty they are. They go all the way down. I'll probably end up, you know me, I'll end up putting either some uh, um, green seeds down here for lettuce or something or I'll stick some of my sedum in there just to have some green all the way around. And these actually will stay green all winter long in here because it kind of likes it when it gets cool. I can't guarantee it will bloom, but they do well if you don't overwater them. Um, oh, this one's gonna bloom. This, these are my really old hibiscus in these. And walking slow because I got snakes in here. Now over here, I brought in some of my hot peppers. I'm excited to bring in a tomato. These will probably end up maybe in this hydroponic. I'm going to start with this top three shelves with the bucket, um, but that's a whole nother video. Look how nice and tucked in the dome is. It's so quiet out here. Listen, it really is. The extra layer in here really makes a difference. It cuts back on the sun a little bit, but Guys, I'm in Ohio. We're not going to be seeing a whole lot of sun until mid-February, really, here. So everything is going to be happy the way it is, all nice and warm. My banana trees did great this year. These guys are going to be moved around here. They can't stay here. In fact, I might move them over by the, over by the pond. It seemed like my fish really liked that little umbrella they were providing. But here's my tea tree. I really whacked it back. Hubby brought the hacksaw out, and we cut it back. It's about three feet tall, but I'm not worried because usually what happens is, as you can see here, growth pops out of the out of the stalks of it. And I've got some new starters down here, but I probably won't see new growth on this until later, later, if not the beginning of the new year. And that's just fine. I don't care as long as it survives. I love having a tea tree in Ohio. It just smells so nice and it's a cool thing to enjoy here. So I've got a lot to do. I've got big messes to clean up and stuff to move around still so you'll have to stay tuned and i'll share more video the fishies are doing fine yesterday i was a little freaked out because my giant snake it went from the tea tree in to the pond <laughs> he was swimming around the fish were crazy man they just they just stood still they didn't move um i took out my water feature in here just so we could move the ladder around to get this plastic up and that worked out just well but um that will end up um I'll end up working on that later just having so had time and it's fun they're fine the way they are they love it I gave them some food here now my avocado tree is doing great I really like this one this one is just called a hearty avocado unfortunately I did not get any any avocados on it but that's okay it's kind of neat learning how it grows um this is what it does when it gets too much sun even in the dome it gets funny like that so i don't know it's not really a really really pretty tree if you ask me so i'm gonna keep it growing though and see see what happens see how it does um not like my kumquat i love my kumquat in fact i got um, about a dozen dozen of those on there that i can't wait to be able to harvest soon they're doing really well 
and my pomegranate is still in here. The figs are still here. Look at them. We butchered them big time, but you know what happens. They'll end up getting new shoots off the top of it. So I'm actually enjoying the wide open space. I'm going to go ahead and pan around here to show you what it's like in here. Um, if you've never watched my videos of the dome, um, I hope you will check out my website at brenhaas.com where you'll find more information about it. There's a link right on there with all the cool, fun, growing things. This is a 20-foot geodesic biodome. It was made from things you can purchase at your local uh, lumber store. And the wraps, the wrap you put on, you can put a greenhouse wrap on it. You can order wraps online. Uh, mine, actually, I have like a bubble wrap on the outside. I love it, and I can share more about that as uh, if you check out my website, it's all on there. Um, the inside here is just a house wrap. You see hooks up here because I end up hanging um, hanging baskets, usually with succulents and sometimes ferns, but it's super fun. I have a lot to do still. I wanted to note I got my curtain back up this um, heavy duty. It's one of those. I think I got this at Walmart. It's just a um, lined curtain that will be getting dropped in the next couple of days when we get down into the 30s at night. It really makes a difference with the glass uh, storm door. It helps hold the heat in. It really helps. Every little bit helps. All right, well, <laughs> there's an update. I know it was kind of quick, but I actually started some lasagna in the house. I need to get back in there and check on that. It's in the oven. And um, I'll share that recipe with you too if you're interested. I'm super excited about this growing year. I can't wait to share more with you. So I hope you will join me on my journey. Uh, you can find out more about me and all my videos and whatnot on my website at brenhaas.com. I hope to see you there.